Hey everybody, I got a, another video for you guys. This one's a little bit Hey. Cat just jumped onto my lap. This is Zelda. Zelda, this is everybody. Um, anyways, uh, this review is going to be on a pen, actually. Um, as you guys know, I like knives and I like Zippo. And um, me and my girlfriend have been dating for two and a half years. And she decided to get me this as a little present. Um, and uh, yeah, she knows that since I like Zippo and I like to you know, carry my certain things on me um, all the time, every day or whatnot, she thought that she'd get me a, a dedicated pen, and uh, she decided to get a Zippo pen. I actually didn't know they even made pens until she got me one. That's how much research I've done. It's kind of funny because I love their lighters. Um, anyway, so when you open it up, uh, it's kind of like a jewelry box, nice and fuzzy on the outside, and the inside, same material right here, kind of a molded section for the pen to sit in. Um, Zippo insignia here. Of course, it's backwards because I'm using my MacBook, and I don't know how to turn off that uh, mirror image. Um, here you get a little paper that um, says Zippo writing instruments on the front and uh, on the back. Just describes the refills. Um, refills are only like a dollar, super cheap. Um, on the inside, it tells you how to operate your pen or pencil. I guess they have pencils too. That's pretty interesting. Um, pen itself. Like I said, this is just kind of molded and these, it's kind of bolstered in right here. So uh, just pull that out. You can see just the indent there. Just simple, almost like a jewelry box, pretty much. Even kind of puffy texture to it on top. Um, pen itself, very thin, very sleek. Um, it's all metal, maybe aluminum, I'm not sure. Uh, just, uh, you know, your very classic, just metal casing. And uh, super, super, super thin. Um, it's got some texturing, um, circular pattern all the way around, like rings kind of ribbed going up a little bit here for some finger grip. And um, it's got a nice clip, a uh, very thin clip. It's actually, the, the only way to tell that this is a Zippo pen, other than having the box and whatnot, um, is actually on the clip. It says Zippo there. It's going to be kind of hard to see. You can see the little engravings there. Um, it says Zippo. And then uh, around it, it says... Um, the West Company there in blue. Pretty hard to see because this pen's so shiny. Um, it is like a very high polished chrome and whatnot. Uh, it's flat at the top. Um, little ring thing going around there. And uh, to operate this pen, um, it, you don't click or anything. It doesn't click. Uh, it's um, You actually twist it to get that um, ballpoint pen out. And so you give it a counter or a, or a clockwise twist and that's going to pop the end out there, as you can see. So counterclockwise to close, and clockwise to open it up there. Um, this one in particular is blue ink. And uh, as we can see here, it's really nice, really nice blue ink. Um, nothing super fancy, but um, it's very clean. Uh, it doesn't have any like dry spots when you write with it. Um, and being Zippo and made by Zippo in Bradford, Pennsylvania, they do have a guarantee on this. So if you were to ever somehow break this pen or damage it in some way, you can return it and uh, get it repaired or replaced at no cost, other than I believe just shipping charges. Um, if you want to refill this pen, um, all you do is uh, you just completely pull this off. You just hold both sides and you pull it off. And you got your cap here, and then it's so simplistic. It's really nice, actually. Um, as you can see here, the tip is blue. I don't know if that's uh, just irony, or um, I'm guessing it's indicating that it is blue ink. So uh, if it's black, maybe it has a black cap. I'm not positive, so, you know, I'm just kind of making an assumption. So, uh, anyways, in order to change the ink cartridge, you just twist counterclockwise, and then you just pull straight out, and uh, now you have your empty casing and uh, lid here and this is just the refill here it's that easy it's that simple I mean if you wanted to you can just write with this it's just uh, as you can see the ballpoint there and just the full casing for the ink and the cap here which is blue like I said which I'm guessing indicates that it's blue ink um, it says Zippo Meg company on it Bradford Pennsylvania and uh, I guess is a, a medium medium size cartridge blue ink pen um, so yeah and, and just to put it back in you literally just slide it right in like that and uh, just give it a, a clockwise turn um, the tip here is kind of threaded 
kind of hard to see on the camera. It's just such bright colors. Um, it is gripped there, so you can easily twist on it. And then, uh, yeah, once again, you just take the cap here and throw it on. So if you want a semi-cheap pen, I mean, I'm, I shouldn't even say semi-cheap. This is cheap. I mean, you, you guys have seen pens at uh, your Staples or Office Depot or whatever. They can easily be $60. You can find pens for 100 bucks. It's insane. Um, but, you know, if you like something, you like something. This pen, I believe, only cost my girlfriend about 13 to 15 shipped. So, um, really nice. I mean, you got your little display or um, jewelry box, zippo case that the pen comes in. Um, of course, you get your lifetime guarantee. Uh, very nice ink and uh, just super thin and easy to carry. And, you know, you can clip this to a shirt pocket. Or um, I honestly think, as far as the clip goes, I mean, it's pretty stiff and it is small. Uh, this wouldn't do well in jeans. Uh, not at all. So, uh, if you are going to clip this, um, it'd be best to, you know, like I said, a pocket, you know, a shirt pocket or um, if you're wearing pleated pants, you know, that would do be fine, like dress pants or whatever. But, uh, yeah, this won't clip jeans very well. But um, anyways, yeah, uh, I just wanted to put this up. Uh, it's different from my lighter reviews, trick videos and uh, knives. Um, you know, it's been a while since I've really done stuff with Zippo. I have bought a few new Zippo lighters that I forgot to put up still to show you guys. And, um, you know, uh, I also have some Zippo paraphernalia. I mean, I got this pen, and I also have this lanyard, Zippo lanyard here, my keys that um, I use. Uh, it's got some nice clips on it. Cost me about, like, 8 bucks, so super cheap. And, uh, yeah, so I do use stuff by Zippo. I got my Zippo lanyard for my keys, and I got my, you know, Zippo pen. And I got my, oops, Zippo lighter. I dropped it there. So um yeah I you know I if I like a brand I, I'll I'll tend to get things that relate to it on the outside just kind of adds to the fun of collecting. So I thought I'd just uh, share that with you guys. So that is the uh, Zippo ballpoint pen, blue ink, uh, nice chrome finish, and uh, like I said, a nice little jewelry box that it comes with. You just tie the pen and you can just click it in even or slide it seems to be easier so, yeah, that is the Zippo pen and uh, yeah so thanks for watching and um, maybe that was interesting maybe it wasn't but uh, I thought I'd just share it with you guys something different and just something along the lines of you know stuff that I like to collect Zippo this knife that